Let's take a look at the basic ideas of series resistors. To begin with, I'll consider a single resistor. It has a resistance denoted R and associated with this two terminal device we have a voltage across the device and a current going through the device. Ohm's law describes the behavior of the resistor and it says that the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. From this we see that the voltage is proportional to current and R or the resistance serves as the proportionality constant. Now let's consider two resistors that are connected in series. Here's resistor R1 and resistor R2. Now the distinguishing feature of a series connection is that the current that passes through the first resistor is exactly the same as the current that passes through the second resistor and is the same as the current that eventually leaves the series combination. All resistors share the same current. Now different resistor values will give different voltages. Or you'd say that each resistor can have its own voltage drop. So R1, for example, could have its own voltage V1, and R2 has its own voltage V2. Now we apply Ohm's law to each individual resistor, and we can write that V1 is equal to I, that's the current going through it, times R1. The voltage that appears across I2, or R2 rather, is I times R2. Now the voltage that appears across that single resistance, I was calling V, we can also consider the voltage that appears across the series combination. Now here we can invoke Kirchhoff's voltage law. It says the sum of the voltages around a closed path is equal to zero. If I start here and take a, a path that includes all the voltages, I would write minus V plus V1 plus V2 is equal to zero. Let me put V on the other side of the equation. And then substitute these earlier expressions in for V1 and V2. We see that I is common to both of these expressions, so I'll pull that out. If we compare the form of this equation against Ohm's law, and let me rewrite it so this is a little bit easier to see, everything is the same, and then we find that R, or what we might call the equivalent resistance, is equal to the sum of the series connector series connected resistances. So in the equivalent resistance of resistors in series is the sum of the individual resistor values. So in general if we had n resistors all connected in series And uh, the way you lay them out on your page doesn't really matter. The key thing is, does the current pass through each resistor? Then we see that the sum of the resistances is the equivalent resistance.